Hey, Karen Gillia here with Photo SEO Lab. And in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to set Google Analytics 4 up from scratch. So this is going to be helpful for you if you're setting analytics up on a brand new website and maybe you've not used analytics before. So let's get stuck in. So you're going to head to the search results and just type in Google Analytics. And then you're going to click on this first link. So when you click in that first link, it's going to open up this screen here. Um, you want to make sure you're signed into the right Google account. Um, it may well be you've already got an analytics account, in which case you might want to be kind of adding to that already. So double check what um, account you're in, in the top right hand corner here. And once you've made sure it's the right one, then you want to click start measuring. So the account name, this should be your business name, your kind of official business name. So I'm just going to pop a um, business name in here. So this isn't a website or anything like that. We're going to get to properties um, in a minute or two. So this is just going to be your kind of main business name. Uh, so you don't have to tick that box, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tick that. And then we're going to click next. Now, the property name is going to be your website address. So you can just kind of copy and paste that uh, out of the search results. So we're going to pop that in there. You want to make sure that um, it's come up as the right country and that you're in the right time zone and also that the currency is correct as well. Now, previously, I would have recommended that you click on advanced options and also create a universal analytics property. However, the universal analytics has been sunset in July 2023, and I don't really think there's a benefit now. Um, there's been loads of kind of development in Google Analytics 4 and it's now at the point that I think it's not really necessary to have the Universal Analytics property. So if you're setting up this up from scratch, I wouldn't bother with this. You're just going to go ahead and click next. Then we want to fill in a little bit of information in here. So if you're a photographer, we're going to choose arts and entertainment. Um, just tick that you're a small business. Now you can fill these in. It's optional. You don't have to. Um, I'm just going to tick what we're kind of going to be using this for so it is for uh, optimizing um we want to increase conversions uh analyze me so measure lead generation as well so just take a few of those boxes and then just click create so this is where you've got the terms and conditions so you want to make sure that these come up in the correct country so just sign your life away there Okay, so this is now going to open up um, with a few kind of email communication options. Uh, so let's just tick a few of these features. I definitely want to hear about feature announcements. Okay, so if you've seen the previous Universal Analytics, you'll see that there's quite a few differences here. And Things work a little bit different in the sense that um, everything's an event in Google Analytics 4 um, rather than kind of the process of measurement that Universal Analytics had. So the first thing you want to do is set up a data stream. So data streams are different depending on whether you're measuring traffic from your website or perhaps an app. Now, if you've got a photography website, you're going to ignore these two. These are literally just for apps. And you just want to set up a data stream for your website. There's no need to set up multiple da data streams. So you don't need one for HTTP and one for HTTPS. You just need one data stream for everything. So no need to set up multiple ones. Um, so we're going to make sure that's set to HTTPS. I'm going to pop the website address in here, but we're just going to remove that beginning part. And the stream name you can call it anything. I'm just going to keep it the same as the website name. Now, this also tracks things like subdomains. So if you do have a bunch of different subdomains attached to your main website, you might want to kind of just maybe call the stream name something else, if that kind of makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to go with this. Now, one of the things that you'll notice here that's maybe different from Universal Analytics is the enhanced measurement. And this enables us to measure things like outbound clicks uh, to other sites. Um, we've got page views in here and there's a few more things as well. So we've got video engagement, file downloads. So there's definitely kind of more information and in, in kind of 
things that can be measured within the, the data that we'll have. So those are all automatically switched on. So we're just going to click Create Stream. So the next step will be to add the tag to your website and how you do that will depend on your site. Um, there's different processes for Squarespace and Show It and WordPress. What I will say is if you have already been tracking things with Universal Analytics, some platforms you can only put one tag in, which means you need to choose which tag you're going to put in. So I'd highly recommend that if you've been previously using Universal Analytics and you're moving to GA4, I'd highly recommend you finish setting up your GA4 account first so that you can make sure the data is as accurate as possible. So maybe only add the tag when you're ready to. So we'll be covering how to add the tag in a further video and I look forward to seeing you there.